Hi guys, how you guys doing today? It's Thomas back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys my April favorites. This is my first monthly favorites video, and I'm super pumped to do it. Before we get on with the video, please like, share, and subscribe if you like content about fashion, luxury, and beauty. We talk about all that kind of stuff on this channel, and I love my little community that we're in right now. And let's get to, let's get to 20, 20 subscribers. And yeah, let's get right on to the video. I'm gonna start off with leather goods, just for starters, and then we'll go into beauty and then jewelry. So the first thing I have on my list is this Karl Lagerfeld bag, the Agnes bag. This is my everyday bag. I got it in this fabric leather with like stripes on it. This has and like the shiny gold hardware with leather loop through it. This is a great everyday bag. Um, I could not find it online, as, as you have seen in this previous and the last video I um, have. I could not find it online, but in here you just have um, a compartment right here, and then a zip compartment back here where you can put pretty much. What you want is lambskin or leather trim. I think it's lambskin, and it has a turn lock closure. And I absolutely love this bag. The chain is very substantial, so it can hold a lot. And this is like literally exactly like a Chanel classic flop, but at a um five thousand dollar price difference. So I'm sure it's more than five thousand because this is I got this for eighty bucks, but you can go on the website. Not this exact, like, color combination, but you can get these in, like, leather for, like, 200 bucks. And then I believe you can get it in denim, which I'm considering right now. And, yeah, I just love this bag. The next and last leather good I have on my list, because I have a lot of beauty products, is this Balenciaga wallet. It's in smooth leather. It has three card slots on the back. It has silver hardware, which is my favorite. It just has a zip compartment, and then it just opens like that. I just have um, cash in it. There's a $50 bill and some 10s and 20s. And then I have, like, my step card, my Visa card, my school ID, my Blue Line card, and then, like, my game cards to my local um, arcades because I like to go there a lot just to have fun. It has a little leather pool tab right here, and I love this wallet. I just ordered a Coach card holder, my very first card holder other than my Louis Vuitton key pouch. Um, and I'm super excited to get it. Um, I ordered off of Macy's. It was like $35. I got it right before the coach sale was, went on on their website. I'm not sure if that card holder is included in the sale. Um, but when it comes, uh, it has not shipped yet, but I also got a lot of Nautica and Polo Ralph Lauren shirts. And I'll be showing you guys what I got from the sale as well as clothing. Sorry, I have to change pictures so I can run my beauty kit right here. Um, first thing I have on my list are just anything Rare Beauty. I love Rare Beauty. I have the foundation, which I'm wearing today, as well as the concealer, as I am wearing today. And I'm also wearing, well, I'm not wearing this, but I have this as well. It's the Rare Beauty, um, lip, um, lip souffle, lip cream. And I also love this. This is in the shade Brave. And it just comes in this beautiful packaging. I love the packaging on these. Um, but one thing I don't like about um, Rare Beauty packaging is that, well, not the packaging, but the actual product itself. It puts a foundation. It is very, very liquidy. Like, it just like, I don't know. It's very, very liquidy. But other than that, I love the products. And I am definitely going to repurchase the concealer. I am almost out, like, of it. Like, Almost out of it. So, yeah. The next thing I have on my, on my list is this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. This is the Real Techniques 200 brush. And this is a great foundation brush. I got this a few months ago, and I have been using it nonstop ever since I got it. And it's just amazing for concealer and foundation just to blend everything out. It's amazing. Next thing I have on my list, as you guys asked, featured in my everyday makeup tutorial, was my Tarte um, eyeshadow palette. This is the Made Be You Naturally. 
I think it's what it's like on the back. But it's just all the neutrals, and that's what I wear like every day. Um, every single day, I like to wear these three shades. If I, I don't wear a lot of makeup at school. I wear like concealer, blush, and bronzer, and we have a mask on, so like no one will see it. Sometimes we wear um lip gloss. Um, which I'll get into in a second. But uh, I love this palette. Yeah, I got this in the box of charm. I never used it. I saw it in my about when I was cleaning out my makeup collection. I was like. I want to use that now, so I picked it up, and I use it every day now. The next product I have is this Tom Ford Makeup Compact. Um, I have makeup stains on the, on the dust bag, but I got this at the cosmetics company outlet, like, right before Christmas, and I paid for it myself, and it's just, it's beautiful. It's just the, um, Soleil Contouring Compact, and this is, this is what it looks like, and I love it love it love it i only use the bronzer shade in the summertime i use the highlighter shade for everyone highlighter and then sometimes i use the blush all these are very pigmented so it is oh hey but it's very very pigmented so it is very easy um to use too much of it but that's the beauty of it i mean when you're spending over i feel like 70 dollars maybe 50 for this um and i got it and i am just obsessed with it last beauty product i'm not including my Hermes lipstick in this because that is not everyday use that's for like special occasions only but this is my everyday lip gloss it's this dior lip maximizer in the shade oh my God. this this the, the label on the bottom is like the exact same color as the lip gloss so it's very hard for me to see it uh O13. And this is a, just a great everyday lip gloss. Um, lip maximizer. It, it does plump your lips. Um, not a lot, though. It's not, it's, it, it plumps your lips, but it doesn't have that overly, like, tangling feeling. This is, like, $32. Um, sometimes I've seen it go on sale. I got this full price. Um, and I would definitely purchase another one once I run out of this one. And, yep, has silver, um, like, not hardware, but, like, you know, plastic packaging. And then it has the CD on the very top of the lip gloss. The last two things are skincare and fine jewelry. Well, three things. Skincare and then two um, jewelry pieces. So this is the CEO of my Sunday Riley. This is my skincare piece. And I love this stuff. I've used a decent amount of it, as you can see. This is the Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. And it comes in this beautiful orange packaging. This was like $60. Um, I think I got this. I don't know if I got this from Sephora or I got it in the BoxyCharm. I'm not sure. I'm so sorry. Um, but this is a great um, everyday cream after you wash your face, after you get in the shower. Smells amazing. Smells like oranges. It's so good. So the last two pieces are jewelry. I have one piece of fine jewelry and one piece of costume jewelry. This piece of jewelry I got from TJ Maxx. It was like 20 bucks and I was I wear this like literally every day to school. I wear this to school. This is just a little pendant. It looks like an emerald but this is real sterling silver so it's not gonna tarnish as much but I think this is just plastic but or like um a rhinestone or something and it's like set with the sterling silver and it looks really really pretty in the light and i love emeralds and um i haven't invested in an emerald yet i have a diamond ring coming up next but yeah that's my necklace so the very last piece i don't think you can buy along with the jewelry uh the necklace because I got from my TJ Maxx, but this one I got at a fine jewelry store. So, um, don't think you can find this, but this is 18, 14 or 18 karat gold ring. Let me see. 14 carats. And I got this at a um, fine jewelry store in the estate section. It was estimated value. At, I have the estimation approval over there, but it was like an estimated value of like $900. I got it for $400 or something. It just has um, yellow gold around this and then white gold set with the diamonds. So this was the diamond. 
it's not that big and then you have two tiny little diamonds like tiny tiny diamonds on the side but this is the main gem and you can see it a, little, a lot better far away but i love this ring i love it to death um i wear this every single day it fits on my fits on all my fingers i wear it on the middle finger or the pointer finger does not fit on my pinky because as you can see it's very big on my pinky but um this is like how it looks i would never wear it on that finger because that's a wedding ring finger and i'm not married at all so yeah all right i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you liked it please give this a thumbs up share with all of your friends um subscribe uh, we talk about fashion, luxury, and beauty on this channel. So it's like any of that type of stuff. And you want to support a small account, um, please subscribe. And I love you guys. Bye. See you in the next video.